Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24-year-old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. It's like a couple sometimes. It's been going down. I He's the king of the jungle. Guys, I know it's not a secret, but I'm not in the jungle. I am here at the Aspire Tour event. Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. Gary V, come on, son. I mean, so many different speakers. Alex Rodriguez is gonna be up here. Drew Brees, a slew of entrepreneurs. I'm a young entrepreneur and a small Shark Tank myself. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be speaking today. I'm gonna show you guys where I'll be at. Let's go. I mean, the setup here is ridiculous. <laughs> they spared no expense on all this stuff, man. I think I do like 42 events a year. It's 52 weeks in a year, so. Hey, What's up, my brother? It's so good to see you, man. What's new with you, man? Hey, man. Yes, sir. How about yourself? Can I get a phone? For sure, man. Uh, Absolutely. Can somebody you. take? Thank you, my man. Got you. What's your name? Armando. Armando. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, papi. El gusto es mío. One, two, three. Hey, Mano, thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for everything you do for the, you know, the animals. Stay blessed. I love you, man. You too. Dude, see, like, sick. The energy in here is just, it's rampant, you know? I'm gonna turn it up. Uh, I got a little special guest with me today. Not Laura. <laughs> Even though she's wearing snake print, I have one of my snakes I'm gonna put on my neck. Like I said earlier, I get a little nervous doing these big public speakings, you know? Uh, apparently, like, public speaking is number one, like, all-time fear of humans, and number two is snakes or spiders. Well, I got expertise in uh, speaking in front of people. Not, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll bring a snake on stage with me to make you feel a little more comfortable. This is where I'll be at, check it out. Elevator nights. 53 of them. I'm gonna be on stage talking in front of lots of people. I'm a little nervous, you know? I'm actually always nervous, but today is a different type of nervous. Let's see. <laughs> get her out of here. <laughs> Security, get her out. Never, ever. You're not gonna let that happen. What are you gonna talk about? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I just you know. have no idea. How about nails? We're gonna talk about uh, probably social media, discipline, animals. motivation, animals. I can do speech too. Couples goals. Yeah. <laughs> Couples goals. Couples I'll goals. <laughs> talk about hyenas and how Laura and hyenas are the same thing. You know, schizophrenic. <laughs> See? <laughs> So one more panel before our break. So if we can get up to the stage, the real Tarzan, Desiree, Travis, Neil, and Frankie Kira.
Alright guys, so we're gonna dive right into this. No, I'm fine. So we're gonna do a quick 60 second introduction so we'll give you context of each of our business friends. Uh, my name is Mike. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> my nickname is The Real Tarzan. Uh, I have a lot of different social media accounts from YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We got about 15 million followers across the board. Um, for the past like six years, we've been doing close to like a little over a billion views a year on just animal education and conservation, from ants to elephants uh, and snakes. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So in the last 10 days, he got 215 million views. Woo! 10 days. <laughs> the wild jungle. How? I like animals a lot, and uh, I spend lots of time with them, you know, so um, I'm constantly walking around our farm. We have uh, 30 acres, about 200 animals, and uh, every day something's happening, every second something's happening, from a snake shedding to a llama giving birth, so, and I'm capturing all these things on camera. And ostrich so, today? Ostrich egg yesterday. Yeah. Uh, ostriches finally gave birth uh, to a big old egg, I mean, things about like that big, so. I've got a baby coming in about 60 days. <laughs> With that ostrich's boyfriend, he got into an argument, and in that argument, they got 92 million views in that video. <laughs> yes. Arguing with an ostrich. Okay. <laughs> I could talk to him all day about this. He's the co-host of the Money Mondays podcast with me. Understand animals that they're scared of. Well, you said the perfect thing, understand. A lot of people don't understand certain species of animals, so in return, they get freaked out. Whether it's snakes, spiders, pit bulls, or bees, there's all types of animals out there that there's a lot of myths or misconceptions and people use them as, you know, triggers. And those triggers are passed down from their parents or their grandparents and people talk about it at home and then kids go talk about it at school and now it's just a thing where in, in all reality that thing was never a thing in the first place. And uh, my thing was always snakes. And uh, I was actually used to be scared of spiders. Uh, I'm still scared of public speaking, but one thing that keeps me calm is my snakes. So every time I do have opportunity to bring a snake on stage with me, it gives me like a sense of calmness because it's something I'm really used to since I was a kid. But I understand the snake. Like, for instance, this snake I'm holding right now, I kind of don't know him. I just got him like, f like four days ago. <laughs> I don't know if it's a boy or a so girl. Neil, if you can slide this way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're okay, man, don't worry. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's a boy or if it's a girl, I don't know if it's me. Um, I do know this particular species is like, they're known as face biters. They bite, they bite you in the face. But this one's really sweet. My wife's held it a couple times for like three hours when I first got it. She didn't get bit, so I'm like, hey, kind of did the same. You know, I took him out the cage today and I was like, hey, you want to go on a little adventure with me? He didn't say yes, but, but, he, he, didn't say but he didn't bite me, so. <laughs> I figured he wanted to go. So, but just stuff like that, I understand the snake. I have like, a, you know, we have like 20 different snakes I can choose from, but I know this one will be pretty comfortable. It can be cold, because it comes from a colder climate, you know, so I know it'll be comfortable and not have it eat for X amount of hours. Whereas I have other snakes, they probably won't do so well, you know, but it's all about understanding the animal. It's all about understanding what you're getting yourself into before you do it. And uh, for instance, spiders, very freaked out with spiders when I was a kid because I never could understand why they move so fast. Why the, the slightest touch of wind would freak a spider out for being on your leg and then running off with you and stopping next to your chest and you can't see it and you're like freaking out, like, oh my God, where is it? You know, but spiders are way more scared of us than we are of them. And then I got a snake somewhere around here. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, he's okay, don't worry about him. But uh, yeah, get over here, buddy. You're freaking everybody out. <laughs> She's just. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I got a spider coach. My spider coach tells me, he says, Mike, I'm going to tell you one thing is going to cure your fear of spiders. And he says, uh, <laughs> one day if I told you that 95% of the time a spider would never bite the surface it's on. So if it's on you, you have a 95% chance of it not biting you. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I understood that. My fear was getting bit because I didn't know why it was gonna bite, where it was gonna bite, where it was gonna go. But now I got over the fear of being bit by knowing information from somebody, you know, by someone teaching me something. So you always talk about getting a coach for something. I have a spider coach, I have a 
you know, a centipede coach, I have a snake coach, a venomous snake coach, a cobra coach, uh, an orangutan coach, you know, I have, uh, he's actually in the, in the crowd over there, Mr. Frederick. Um, so yeah, there's many coaches that, you know, that make up what I am today. And I, I, I never always say it's just, oh, I'm Tarzan, there's tons of, you know, people I talk to and bug and beat up all day for questions. I can ask the same question in 10 different ways. And it's, it's very annoying when you have 10 questions that turn to 100 questions, you know, so. All right, so I'm gonna go down the line real quick. I'll go back to you, Tarzan, and I'll just ask you guys all one question. Look, we have 10 minutes, so let's try and keep it to two minutes each, all right? So you've obviously created a huge social media following, and I don't see you posting brands very often at all. What is your logic behind that, and what is your plan moving forward? Well, I, I'm really, uh, I'm in the brands. I like to uh, help different brands, you know, do commercials. Um, I like creative control, uh, and I like quality over quantity. Uh, a lot of influencers, uh, for instance, when I first started social media, my first year, I had a, big, a volcanic eruption of followers, 5 million Instagram followers in 365 days from 5,000, all organic, just calling completely viral. And uh, I'm getting hit up by every single brand, every single thing they do, TV shows and episodes. And uh, in the beginning, I was like, yeah, let me do this one, let me do that one. And within the first like two months, I'm like, that doesn't look good. You know, just taking every single paycheck I could possibly get for, you know, 5,000 bucks or 500 bucks or 10 grand, but then now my followers are like, oh, this guy's a sellout. You know, I'm like, oh, I don't like that. So the money was good. And then I was like, you know what, let me just go through my email and see who's gonna give me, you know, a good opportunity to create and this, this kind of congruent where my followers won't even see that I'm posting a brand, you know? And um, long story short, you know, I've done brands with Full Locker and Nike and um, uh, Ignite with Daniel's area and uh, Arizona Ice Tea. Um, just tons of different brands. So everything you're doing is pretty much organic to your content, and exactly. you're not just like logo slapping. You're now integrating these brands, so it feels real, but people are seeing your Nike shoes or whatever. Exactly, exactly. So uh, yeah, I'm real particular in who I do. He's got a mind. You know, content way. <laughs> I like Nike, I like Adidas, but I'm, he doesn't. I'm, I'm always there for him, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to get me to wear some shoes. You know, because it's like the social thing to do with, as a human, you know, but I'm not really a shoe guy, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. And I, I see it personally. I know that you're not just like, you know, doing random deals, so it looks good. <laughs>